Hello! Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. Got a quick video for you today. Basically, I've showed this clown pied clutch a while back and offered it up to you folks here on YouTube and never put it on Morph Market and still hadn't had the time to actually put it on Morph Market because it's been so busy around here until just yesterday, I think it was. Was that yesterday? Man, it seems like forever ago. Anyway, it's up there now and I wanted to offer it to you folks at a discount. It's been a wild market and things are like all over the place, but Clown Pied is the reason I started breeding ball pythons in the first place. So it's a special project to me, but I wanted to offer a 10% discount to you guys that are watching the video right now off of the already really pretty decent prices that I have on Morph Market right now. 10% off for any of you guys watching right now, 20% off for any of you guys that were Patreon members before this video started. So pretty decent discount, I think, considering what the price is already on Morph Market. But uh, one more time, I'd like to run through the clutch and show you guys what it is that you are looking at if you haven't seen them already. And you know, the reason I'm doing this again is that I had like 20 people at least email me when I first shared this clutch and people that were interested, like everybody except for one person goes to me. Like they, they sent me an email, I replied, we had a conversation going and then like literally everybody, everybody except for one single person all just ghosted me. Like no, no like, oh sorry, I found something else somewhere else or nothing, there's nothing. Just like, like they fell off the face of the earth. All of them, I, I, mind I would never do that to anybody. It just blows my mind when people do that. Like I'd never do that to anybody. <laughs> Especially if I'm the one that made the first contact. It's like I asked you, you know, hey, what's going on with that? Anyway, it's just, it blows my mind when people do that. And that that'll never get old, how blown my mind gets. This is a female pied, 100% het clown. This clutch is all nice and well established at this point. I mean, they're, they're, they've been eating well. They're on rat pups, could probably move up to smalls in the next few weeks. So looking pretty good. This female is actually one of the more chunky of the two. And she's, uh, she's of the two, <laughs> the chunky of the clutch. She's just like, she's one of the better eaters I'd say. But yeah, female pied. And if this video isn't doing you justice, the Beautiful pictures are all up on Morph Market right now, so there you go. Female pied, 100% head clown. And forgive me, I know that you guys have watched every single video. You've all already seen this clutch before, but I uh, just wanted to show them one more time because they finally made it to Morph Market. Okay, uh, male clown, 100% head pied. This dude also eating phenomenally and looking excellent. Lots of pattern on this guy. If you're like that high pattern clown like I do, and then also carrying the head pied is what makes this guy extra special with a perfectly symmetrical head stamp. And you can expect that if you're watching this video on the day that it came out, that you will see me at Clint's Reptile Room for the grand opening. Hope, so, hope to see you guys there. Another male and the final male of this clutch, another clown, 100% head pied, also with a equally phenomenally symmetrical head stamp. A lot more blushing in the dorsal pattern on this guy and also lots of nice heavy pattern on the sides as I love all my clowns to have. Another clown het pied, this one the only female clown het pied uh, with an equally phenomenally <laughs> symmetrical head stamp. I don't know what uh, to attribute those nice head stamps on these guys, but they're all very symmetrical and very nice looking. And just a good looking snake. Lots of nice blushing of the dorsal. Awesome. You know, if, if for whatever reason, these snakes don't go in the next week from um, this video and Morph Market, I'll probably just keep them all for breeding. Because at this great price and at this good deal, they're still not selling. I don't want them to just sit there on the market because I don't think it looks good for the market if that's the case. I'd rather just pull back and we'll just reassess when the economy's um, more on the up and up and, and do that. But that's because this is a hobby, not a business for me, so I can, I can afford to pull back like that. It's nice. And she, 100% het clown. Pied. I don't know why I said it like that, but I did and female, as the rest of the snakes in this entire clutch are female. I'll repeat that again for those of you that are hard at hearing, and also just to remind myself. There she is. Love the way Enchi just brings back, brings in so much pattern on a pipe. I mean, there's almost, there's virtually no white on this snake at all. I mean, except for the belly. The belly is completely white, 
and then a little bit of white coming up around the tail there. Other than that, just heavily patterned. This Enchi Pied Het Clown female has a bit more white than the previous one. Right there on the tail, you can see some that actually goes across the top and over the back. And, but other than that, lots of cool orange, lots of nice pattern, uh, great snake for your Clown Pied breeding project. And then there was a, another Clown Pied, uh, we're skipping over because it's not here anymore because there was the one person, as I mentioned, that actually got back to me in those emails that I got. Uh, Shannon, thank you for getting that Clown Pied female from me. Glad that she went to you, man. This Clown Pied right here, oh, Clown Pied is just the, the pinnacle. I remember I used to post Clown Pied, the first Clown Pied I ever got on Facebook and stuff in the groups, and people like knew me because I was a guy with a Clown Pied. Like, are you the guy with the Clown Pied? Even though I wasn't the first one to obviously produce them, but sorry about that, Snake. But uh, just it was just such a rare, you know, at the time, I guess it was, very, very rare to see one and not as rare these days, but still double recessive animal is not something that is easily um, acquired or, or created, especially if you're doing double head to double head pairing, which I didn't do to get these, but I, you know, still, still recessive projects just take more time. That's why something like this just steps you way up. And that's what I did when I first got into clown pied breeding project. I was like, I'm just gonna get a clown pied female, just like this one right here. And that's the last one that's going to be available. This one I wanted to at least show because she's my holdback from this clutch, the Enchi Clown Pied, the full Bambino there. And she's looking good, a little update on her, looking great. Lots of pattern, like I like it. And uh, just a beautiful, beautiful snake. Clown Pied taken to the next level with that Enchi. Quick wham bam, thank you ma'am video for you guys today. I'm about to get these snakes fed and then head off to Utah for a Clint's Reptile Room thing, and I've got a lot of stuff to do tonight before that happens, so just real quick, get her in there real quick, make sure we had a Saturday video and, and uh, not leave people hanging without one. So either email me or just, you know, go find the snakes on Morph Market that you're interested in, they're all there. If they're not there, it means somebody got ahead of you, but that's okay, there are plenty of females to go around from this clutch, so I'm stoked about that for you guys. Next video will be Dave Kaufman again. I know it's a lot of fun hanging out with Dave on the videos. That's some of my favorite videos to make is just me and Dave Kaufman running around and we'll be in Utah running around. Uh, if everything goes off without a hitch, we'll be checking out some pretty cool breeding facility. But you guys just stay tuned for that. In the meantime, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next video. Aloha.